Coppin State University in Baltimore, Maryland is facing a lot of backlash due to their new HBCU queen being a Latina woman by the name of Keelan Perez. She is 22 years old, also a nursing student and a sergeant in the U.S. Army. Now, she is saying she kind of had a feeling that would happen and she feels like she's being discriminated against because a lot of people, as they went to her TikTok where she posted the news, they're saying, I am confused what's going on. Coppin State seems like they're selling out and things like that. Now, Coppin State University said this. Keelan represents Coppin well in word and deed with grace, humility, and resilience. She is a great ambassador for our university, our diverse student body, and all we stand for. They also say Eagle Nation stands with Keelan Perez, and we are proud to call her our 91st Miss Coppin State University. Well, I, I guess, you know, it's nice for her, but what about the black women there that should have been crowned the queen there? And y'all notice how they said diverse. That is a new word that has replaced minority and, you know, goes along now with the people of color trope that we hear a lot because when you say diverse, that means everybody. Well, the last time I checked the HBCU was for black students. So how are we getting this everybody thing going within spaces that are supposed to be for black people? Well, that's kind of the problem with us as black people and all of our organizations. We just cannot gatekeep things for us. We got to allow everybody else to come in and partake of what's supposed to be for us. I mean, we barely have anything for ourselves now, but at the universities, we are now seeing where they have white HBCU queens and now Latino uh, HBCU queens and things like that. And so I just wonder when are we going to finally decide that we should have things for ourselves. I wonder how some of those black women feel there. Yeah, they're probably going along with it and pretending like they're okay. But I would imagine some of them are like, you know what? That's messed up. That should be a crown that we wear. But again, as Dr. Claude Anderson always says, when we call ourselves minorities, people of color, now this diverse thing, we end up not getting what it's for us to get because you have everybody else that's included in that. Of course, we know with affirmative action, it was supposed to be for black people, but white women benefited the most from it. And so we're starting to see these things unfold in the HBCUs. But I say shame on the administration there at uh, Coppin State University for allowing that to take place. Now, I know you might get in a little bit of trouble saying, well, no Latinos or, you know, allowed to win. But I don't know. I just think there's some things that you could do. But to, to, to hang on to that, like we're proud and this, that and the other. Why are you proud? Why are you proud that you gave that title to a Latino woman? instead of a black woman. I need to know. So anyway, y'all tell me what you think of this. And for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace.